Hey guys, Mega J here. So I was just wanted to quickly film the little hook I just rigged up on a Fusion 360, uh, the 3D modeling software, just for the 3D printer. Now it's just a little hook that goes over the door that uh, holds onto a bag. I'll show you how it's done. Alrighty, hey guys, it's uh, Mega J here. Now I'm going to be doing a bit of a Fusion 360 tutorial today. So I need to make a hook that goes over a door, um, so a square hook on the top to go around the top of the door and then a sort of curved hook. So you start like you do every time with Fusion, you do your sketch and you select the plane you want to do the sketch on. Now you just draw a line, regular old line, it's L or top left, the second one. Um, and you do it however long you want, I wanted it about 7 centimeters. Um, and then you just draw a line across the top, uh, however thick you want it. So here, I'll do it for you. So we'll do seven centimeters here. Uh, and then we want, I think I went with two and a half. Yep, so two and a half cross. And then doesn't really matter down, another two and a half. It's just to hold it onto the door. Now, we need to go out, um, however thick you want it. So just again, push out, get your line tool back up again. Now, I want it quite thin because it's going to be sitting in the door jam. So it's uh, going to be sticking the door out a little bit. So the thinner, the better. Uh, and it's only holding plastic bags, so it's not nothing too strong. So I went there with a mill. So click where you want it, type in one, press enter, it comes out. Now you want to go up. Now because it's 70, you want to go 71 for that extra one thickness up the top. And then you need to go across, so 27, because we went with the 25 mil thick and then the one mil on either side. So again, just punch in 27, press enter, and get it to snap on the right line. There we go. And then we need to go down to the line it up with the bottom. Need to zoom in to fill it the last bit in. And now it should go yellow once you've closed off your surface. Um, yellow is good. It means that there's no gaps or anything in your design. Uh, so now we need to make the hook part on the inside of the door. Now we use the tangent tool, but you can't just use it on the bottom. See how it uh, sort of does a circle? I mean, you, you could, but it would just be a bit of an issue printing. So what we need to do is extend that thickness out. So again, one mil and then out. Doesn't really matter how much. Um, I probably went a little bit too much here, but again, it doesn't matter at all. And then you close that again, so nice and yellow. Now we get the arc tangent. Click it on, uh, do it wherever you want it. Again, it, that's just personal choice. It depends how curved you want your hook. And second one to line up with the other one. And then you get your line tool out and just close that off. And again, nice and yellow. So now we need to turn this 2D sketch into a 3D shape. So you press E for extrude, um, or the top left, the third one up here, is extrude. So that just uh, stretches it out or makes it into a 3D shape, that profile that you've got. So um, I wanted it probably about 2.5 centimeters, so 25 mil. So you just punch in 25 and hold shift to select all your different spots. And then you can rotate it, and it should look something like this. Um, now, the extrude tool is probably one of the most important tools you use in Fusion. Uh, it's the handiest out of them all I've found so far. Now, we need to get this to the printer. So, you can go 3D print. Um, sorry, I'm not sure what I'm doing just here. Yep, so there we go. So you go 3D print, uh, you have to click on the body you want, so once you've clicked it, that whole 3D shape will be selected. Um, now down the bottom, you can send it straight to your slicer here, but if you untick the box and just press OK, it'll let you save it as an STL, and then you can put that in any software you want, and then send it to your printer. Alrighty guys, so I ended up printing the hook. It came out a lot different than I was hoping. My printer is having some bad issues where it's... Uh, Unsticking about five mils into the print. Um, trying to sort that out at the moment. I think it's a leveling issue. I'm using the wrong product on the bed. I'll figure it out. But so this is the hook. Now it was supposed to come out, got about two and a half centimeters fat, and it only came out about half a centimeter. Anyway, it still does the job. Uh, not as strong as I hoped, but all it was going to do is so got the hook on the door and yeah 
plastic bags, one hook, job done.